I knew that he had been battling cancer, but it had been a very long time since I was last in touch with him. So I didn't know uh, how close to death he might have been. Um, so I got the news in the same way that everybody else did. Um, and then there becomes the uh, the recollections and trying to put it back in context when people ask about what it was like some 30 years ago. Uh, first, the murders themselves, then the Bronco chase, and then the trial and all the rest and all the implications of that and all the various issues that kind of overlaid on each other in a complex situation. Uh, the murders took place in June of 94. I visited him at his request in November of 94. The trial didn't start until January of 95. And that was the last time that uh, visit to the L.A. County Jail, last time I saw or spoke with O.J. And at that time, as you might expect, in, in addition to small talk, which was kind of odd, but that's what happened. In addition to small talk, uh, he tried gently to make the case, as I'm sure he did to others. There's no way I could have done this. You know me well enough to know I wouldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it. I'd be too smart to have done it in this way. If, in fact, for the sake of argument, I did it, I wouldn't do it this way, et cetera, et cetera. And I just remember me saying to each of the assertions he made, well, you'll have a chance to tell your side of the story in court. Like almost everybody, I liked OJ very much. He was a very good colleague. He was fun to be with. He was a hail fellow well met. I had dinner with him many times, played golf with him a few times, loved hanging around with him, uh, was very uh, respectful of the way he handled his celebrity. He never turned anybody down for a photograph or an autograph. Uh, he had time for everyone. He was friendly with everyone. You couldn't help but like him. Um, in retrospect, you the pieces and the backstory get put together, and there was a history of domestic violence with Nicole. At the time that he joined us in the early 90s at NBC, and we co-hosted the football show together for four years, I think, there had been only one report of a domestic violence issue, and both he and Nicole put on a united front. Um, saying it was just a, a little spat on New Year's Eve. We'd had too much to drink. There's no problem here, no problem at all. Uh, maybe there were other police reports, but at that time, that was the only thing that was publicly known. So, okay, if that's your story and both spouses are happy, not my business, put it aside. Then subsequently, uh, we learned other things, not just about what happened on that night in June of 1994, but what the whole history between them had been and how often the police had been called, etc. Um, so, you know, there's uh, people have many chapters in their lives. Uh, it's hard to find anyone with two chapters so starkly different. OJ, the football hero, OJ, the beloved celebrity, and then OJ, uh, the accused murderer in uh, the criminal case and convicted in a certain sense in the civil case.